Were there aliens in Thunderbirds? Well, oh. I had a, a load of no's there. Yes. And a few yeses. So, well, one might be tempted to shout no or just say it. If you did shout no and you're on the train or something and people are giving you a weird look, that's not my fault. Uh, no. But, obviously, then you'd be forgetting about the rock snakes in Thunderbirds are go. Right. So yes, clearly of course. an alien yeah. influence there. Yeah. However, the comics and novels were a little bit looser in their approach to the question of extraterrestrial life than the TV uh, episodes or the films were. International Rescue encountered all sorts of interplanetary menaces uh, in the books of John Thaden and the TV Century 21 stories written by Alan Fennell. Mm -hmm. One or two of these monsters appeared on the cover of the comic, TV Century 21, uh, but not as an illustration by Frank Bellamy, who was the, the artist. Several issues, those featuring the Thunderbirds story Solar Danger in issues 83 to 90, yeah. featured two monsters believed to have been sculpted by AP Films technician Roger Dickin mm. and captured by legendary set photographer Doug Luke, who we've talked about oh, before. Yes. Yeah. Because they were featured in photographs, some readers thought these two monsters, which are kind of scaly reptiles, in fact, I've got one on my shelf behind me up right there. There it is. See yeah. it over there? Yeah. yeah um, they thought those scaly monsters were going to be featured in the series. But the truth is, they were probably sculpted and posed exclusively for those publicity snapshots for the front page of TV21. Mm -hmm. One monster who also turned up on a bubblegum card looks like the dragon or Loch Ness monster sort of hybrid thing. It's the blue one, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, while the other is a very weird alien bug monster with tentacles, which uh, it used to grab hold of Thunderbird 1. So they're quite dramatic mm -hmm. images. Very cool. Absolutely, yeah. Now, if it is true that Roger Dickens sculpted these creatures, then it means that they are both part of a xenomorphic family tree. Right. Roger was, of course, heavily involved in the making of Alien in 1979, oh. and he built and puppeteered the famous chestburster oh. creature. Lovely. So there's some shared DNA right there between mm. Thunderbirds and Alien, but you weren't expecting that. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you feel about aliens or other creatures in the normally rather down-to-earth Thunderbirds? Do write in and let us know, podcast at jerryanson.com. Um, hmm. I mean, they do appear from time to time, and obviously if you go down the route of Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet, at the very least being in the same universe, then obviously the Mistrons kind of can yeah. come into Thunderbirds. And if you yeah. go even further into Stingray, then you've got the undersea aliens, and of course Lady Penelope and Parker appear in a Fibre XL5 strip with uh -huh. the Astrons, I think. So right. if you connect all those things, there's no reason well, according to the comics and the books while the, why the world of Thunderbirds shouldn't be filled with aliens. Yes. How interesting. For me, it doesn't sit that comfortably. It's odd, isn't it? It's a bit no, like when they do a sort of a, I don't know, a time travel. Well, uh, the new Indiana Jones thing is apparently mm. the film is featuring ghosts and time travel and mm. things. You think, well, that's, no, no, that's wrong. That's not the same universe. And it feels the same with Thunderbirds and Aliens. They don't sit well together. Strange, time isn't it? Yeah, that, it's uh, funny. That, that something set in its own world mm. should yep. have rules so strict that yeah, aliens appearing right. are problematic. Yes, yeah, it's odd. Yeah. So, yeah, me. well, what do you think, Postron? Do let us know. Should aliens be allowed in the world of Thunderbirds or is it strictly terrestrial? Um, mm. We would love to know your thoughts. Email us mm. podcast at jerryanderson.com or uh, why not tweet us? Hashtag Jerry yeah. Podcast. Tag me, yeah. I'm Jamie Anderson. Mm -hmm. Him, Richard N. James, or him over there yeah. <gasps> still drawing his Thunderdogs. It's Looking Chris good. Dalek. Um, yeah, if you say so. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this week's Alien, Alien Fact! Fact.